Hey there, welcome back. Okay. Yeah, I just beat the enemies off screen. Anyway, go this way. By the way, save point can only need one thing. Boss. And we got Light Guard. Just gonna get that over to Oh yeah. Can I? Okay, good. Yeah, that works for everyone. That guy you have to talk to later. Some crap. Let's see. I think there's a boss battle for that. I can't remember if this is a save point for the boss or there's another one. Oh well. Just going to save it then. I really don't like it starting on that one, it's kind of annoying. And then are all level 6 now. Isn't that nice? Yeah, beating all girl didn't learn anything. No. Okay, good. Good timing. Good timing. Yep, boss battle. Oh my gosh, it's a really stupid looking dragon. That's annoying because it sometimes avoid getting hit somehow. Oh crap. And they all start to nice. Yeah, better look out. Uh oh. Why are you. What the Thank you! Oh, cool. Pete, go take care of the mice. I've got to get better at this timing. Yes, yeah, because he's that obsessed with cameras. Oh, come on. Show up. Thank you. I don't know, this guy has weird timing on this. In case you haven't noticed already. Yeah, I'm just not gonna get close to the If they both die, that really sucks. You're gonna you're gonna attack from You suck, dude. I hate it when they do that. But you can't do anything about it. Boom. Fire blast! Yay, yeah, he's almost dead. Let's see how many bosses I can do without having to use an item. Oh, wow, I was ready to call that one. How was that? Yay, level up. Right on! Yeah! <laughs> I really gotta stop making weird laughs. And that's it for Allegretto and Beetle. If we don't sure. hurry, we're gonna get caught in the rain. So yeah. What? We can handle a little rain. I mean, the hideout's roof leaks like crazy. <laughs> and that's just when it drizzles. Yeah, you got a point there. How in the crap does the hideout drizzle? Hey! These are the end parts where you learn about Chopin's life. A lot of people don't like them, but personally, I do. Probably because I'm obsessed with classical music. I don't know. I, I just liked it. I don't know. It was nice to learn about Chopin's life. George Sand, it is impossible to tell a story of Chopin's life without the mention of this woman. I wish you could go through the path, past the text fast, but other than that, it's fine. Mention this woman. George Sand was an extremely famous author in Paris who had already published numerous books. And I don't think that's her or why they're showing that, I don't know. Her real name was Aurora Dudevant? <laughs> George Sand was her pseudonym, uh, or whatever, I... Is that pseudonym? I don't know, I always pronounce it like that and I know it's not right. Remaining there in Chopin, Chopin will share his life with Sand for a long 
you suck. When the first met, he commented to his friend, is that really a woman? Wow. She smokes cigars and everything. That's why she didn't look like she was a woman. Sam was a somewhat masculine woman who wore pants and smoked cigars in public. See? <clears throat> Get your hand off my cigar. Even her name George Sand was masculine. I swear that's not how you pronounce it. She was unswayed by society's more than expressed herself un unabashedly. Ah, oh, not swayed on them. What the crap is it? I'm pronouncing it so wrong and sounding like an idiot. The romantic novels she wrote were extremely popular. Of course, Chopin himself was also a famous as a pianist in Paris by this time. Pianist is a weird term. Animaniacs makes fun of it. Because Animaniacs makes fun of everything. The relationship between the genius pianist and the popular author made must surely have been the talk of the town. Yeah, I'll bet. At the time, Chauvin was not in the best of health, and perhaps the attention paid to, uh, attention paid to them by society aggravated his condition. He made him angry. He made him mad. He didn't like him when he's mad. During this time, Sam took Chopin to the Spanish island of Mallorca to allow him to rest. Mallorca? Yeah, it's, it's going to be Mallorca from now on. It wasn't before, it is now. To avoid attention, they left Paris separately and rendezvoused as, at a village near the border. Now they sound like illegal immigrants. They found a place to live at Mallorca, and Chopin lived a happy life amongst the palm trees and orange trees and pomegranates. Chopin's health appeared to be improving, but the island entered its rainy season and the warm weather vanished. Just when you thought he was gonna get better, he gets it in the end. Chopin caught a cold that eventually led to relapse of tuberculosis symptoms. Stay indoors. Oh, that might help. Just saying. At the time, tuberculosis was a terminal disease, and Chopin and Sam's landlord evicted them, fearing contagion. Jerk. You want to see Sam avoid Chopin? Jerk. Tuberculosis is even catchable. After being forced from the home in 1839, Chopin and Sam arrived in Valdemosa Monastery? Monastery? I don't know. Rain continued to fall outside. Hey, chapter one, raindrops, you get it? The sound of falling rain continued in, uh, in incessantly, the simple sound of raindrops blending together to form a dreary rhythm that made you die of tuberculosis. Go, 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 go. And under certain there's certain, these circumstances that the song is said to have been born in the room at Valdemosa. Valdemosa, whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it. Look at that piano. They were created by Chopin at age 29, 10 years before he died. Spoilers, spoilers. No, I'm just kidding. It's kind of if you should already know that. The journey to find rest ironically resulted in the worsening of Chopin's health. You idiots! Just couldn't leave it alone, could you? Just couldn't leave it alone. But George Sand devotedly stayed with Chopin's side, never fearing infection. Probably because you could not be infected. There's little doubt that she was an invaluable source of comfort for Chopin. But then they started yelling at each other. 
N, right? Okay. Hey, now let's play him. Oh, looks like it's finally started raining. You're gonna catch tuberculosis, better get out of there. No. The rain makes the plants look even more alive. And it makes you look deader. Rich Noodle's flowers, the rain is a blessing from heaven. Okay, that, that, that about does it for this part. In the next part, we're going to continue with Frederick and Polka.